Hello, Hirsch here, and in today's video I want to show you the only build ever that you will ever need for clearing solid dungeons. This build is just something amazing. I cleared uh, two solid dungeons in like 10 minutes, so the clearing speed is something insane. And the build that I'm talking about, you can see here, it's a light crossbow build. Uh, and I will just quickly go through the build. Uh, I'm using tier 7 light crossbow if... Uh, actually, I'm the full build that I'm using is 7.0 uh, and I got some specs here so you can see my IP here if you can't afford like a 7.0 build uh, uh, by the way 7.0 build should cost something like 300k because 200k is a such a lot inside so 300k if you can't afford 7.0 you can uh, buy like uh, 6.0 and it will be fine too uh, but when it comes to the build a light crossbow, the must-have ability, uh, the second Q. You can unlock this by reaching level, tr level 3 uh, in crossbow fighter. The skill is a must-have. And when it comes to this build, uh, when it comes to W, the third W, called drops, uh, just for resetting uh, your abilities, about resetting your abilities, I will talk later. Uh, this E. Uh, and reset, resetting your abilities. Uh, you need the second passive called Well Prepared and it says after every fourth spell cast uh, you reset the cooldown of your first slot ability. So after using uh, four spells you will reset your Q so you're able to use your Q like two times and it will deal tons of damage. Uh, that's why this build is so impressive. Uh, when it comes to the hat, I'm using Stalker Hood. I just like this item and I, I just like this item. It uh, increases your damage, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I'm using Cleric Robe, the first skill and the first passive. And I'm using Cleric Robe because of the uh, physical and magic attack bonus. It gives you additional 53% uh, to your damage so that's something pretty good uh, when it comes to mercenary jacket you can see here it's a leather jacket it gives you only uh, 24 percent so we can see the difference uh, with this item you will just deal uh, a lot more damage uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to shoes uh, i'm just using any leather shoes in this case it's hunter shoes and by saying any leather shoes uh, i mean because I'm using the Refreshing Sprint. Refreshing Sprint gives you additional cooldown rate and it reduces your, your cooldowns uh, while using these boots for 49%. And if you don't have any specs in Hunter Shoes, but for example, you got some specs in Assassin Shoes or in some Mercenary Shoes on air or in other leather shoes, just use the leather shoes that you have the most specs in. So if you have, for example, zero specs here and you have 100 specs here, just use the mercenary shoes because every leather shoes have the spell called Refreshing Sprint. When it comes to cape, Tetford cape for additional damage, Crypt Candle for the physical and magical ability bonus, 20, 21%. Uh, that's something amazing, uh, a lot of additional damage. Uh, also, I'm using Poison Potions. Uh, when you are going to do solo dungeons without any poisons you're like wasting your time because with poison potions uh, you will clear them a lot a lot of faster and when it comes to food catfish the best food for clearing solo dungeons it increases your health health regeneration by 225 percent for half an hour uh, and one fish like this cost 1k silver so that's just like nothing when it comes to mount just tier 3 riding horse you don't need anything better and I'm also using Satchel of Insight uh, if you can't afford Satchel of Insight uh, just don't buy it use something like 4.1 or even 4.0 back because Satchel of Insight uh, when it's enabled it will drain your silver so fast and if you don't have much silver you don't want it uh, also when it comes to must haves in this build it's of, uh, of course light crossbow uh, hunter shoes and leather shoes with the refreshing sprint, crypt candle and Tetford cape. I feel like you can switch uh, your uh, item on the head and uh, any rope, you can just like switch it. 
You can switch all Starkerhood with something like Mage Call for additional damage. You can uh, switch for Scholar Call if you are lacking with energy. Uh, and when it comes to Cleric Rope, uh, if you don't feel like using Cleric Rope, you can just switch it with Mercenary Jacket for the extra sustain. It's up to you. Just test different items and you will know what uh, works the best with your playstyle. And now I want to show you some additional tips when it comes to buying stuff like this on the market. So I will teach you how you can save some extra silver when buying things uh, for, for the open world contents. And now I want to show you some tips about buying stuff on the market. Uh, the first tip is looking for the cheapest tier possible. Uh, and the example will be the Stalker Hood. Uh, you can see that the Stalker Hood uh, in the tier 5.2 is 38k and this, uh, you can see the IP here and the tier 7.0, the same IP, it costs 100k. So always look for the cheapest tier possible because not always uh, like flat items will be the cheapest. Uh, you can see the example here. Another example uh, will be the Cleric Rope. Uh, the 6.1 uh, which I'm using is 45k and the second and the same tier the same IP uh, 7.0 is 73k so it's another item where you can save some silver uh, I think it will work the same with mercenary jacket yes 7.293k and 5.2 which I got in inventory 50k so again uh, here is how you can save your silver and also the last example crypt candle uh, as you can see 4.0 is 72k and the IP is 100 uh, 1140 IP and the I'm using the 5.2 crypt candle it's 90k, so it's 18k difference, but the difference in IP is just something amazing. You can see that you can have uh, like additional three, something like 300 IP for 18k silver, so that's just clear profit. Now another important topic when it comes to doing solo dungeons, where should you do your solo dungeons? Uh, I wouldn't advise you doing solo dungeons in blue zones or yellow zones because it's just wasting your time. Do it at least in like tier 6 red zone or some tier 6, tier 7, tier 8 black zone if you're able to because uh, then your rewards will be much much better. And if you just want to chill in red zone in some tier 6 red zone, uh, you can just come to the market write in solo tier 6 and buy tier 6 master's dungeon map solo for 8k that's like nothing and you can just pop it near the tier 6 uh, i will show you near some zone like this near some tier 6 red zone and you will get your map uh, popped right away so you don't have to look for any dungeon of course if you will uh, find some dungeon in a zone like this you can just enter it wait 90 seconds so nobody can gank you and do the dungeon but uh, buying the maps from the market uh, is also fine here you can see that where i'm near the zone that i'm planning to do my solo dungeons i'm just popping them up uh, the map uh, shows up i'm just going there and entering the dungeon uh, now I'm waiting, uh, I'm waiting 90 seconds so the dungeon uh, will be closed, nobody will be able to gank me, I will be 100% safe. Here you can see that I'm starting uh, doing my solo dungeon, the video is speeded up. Uh, and the main point in this build is uh, resetting your Q cooldown, because if you will reset it, you will be able to do it two times uh, in a row. Uh, in a very short time difference, so you're just dealing tons of damage. You can see here that this boss was melted. Uh, it took me something like 10 seconds to kill this boss with this build, uh, so that's something amazing. 
and to reset your Q ability, you can use like Q, W, E, and then Q, Q. And by using combinations like that, you will deal a lot more damage than without resetting your Q. Uh, you can see here that I will do a boss. I'm, uh, on the beginning, I'm using poison potions to deal more damage for him, because poison potions will uh, reduce the resistances. And here, uh, if I don't have my W and E ability to reset my Q, I'm using like my Cleric Rope, then Starkey Hood, and then again Q, Q, and it, it's done. Uh, this dungeon took me like 5 minutes, uh, so yeah, you can see 5 minutes, so that's amazing. This dungeon right here, you can see that uh, my food uh, will end in 20 minutes, so uh, this dungeon took me 4 minutes. Here you can see that uh, I'm doing the final boss and here I'm also trying to use my passive uh, as much as I can to reset my Q. I'm using Cleric Rope, I'm using uh, Hunter Hood, I'm even using my boots just to have the ability of using Q two times in a row. This boss took me, I don't know, something like again 10 or 15 seconds and the whole dungeon here took me for uh, four minutes and it was two floors That's all in this video. Thanks for watching uh, Don't forget to leave a like and a subscription if you like the video I hope you uh, learned something new and you will use the build that I show you today uh, That's all from me today. Thanks for watching. Bye